guys welcome back to the channel my kimoto and we are not going to have an update from a gas station we're gonna have actual mod block yay so uh i got an advice from my good buddy uh good buddy vladis that this is really really great journey so we are pretty much at the beginning and we're gonna go through all this yay so i'm uh, really excited unfortunately my battery is dying so we have to have power bank which will be here in my in my bag this is really unusual solution but been working so far so don't judge me i need navigation i'm in austria i have no freaking clue where i'm going and i have to find a hotel somewhere in the alps so that's not fun at all and let me get the hell out of here because sun is shining just right to my face and i'm melting on the spot so let's kick the kickstand up we are good to go secured we are shooting we are monovlogging and let's go Mountain wind, woo, cooling me down. Hell yeah! So, guys, welcome. I am so excited about this trip. Let me put the navigation on. We have pretty much done a lot of a lot of kilometers today. To be honest, it has been uh, almost four hours and almost 320 kilometers. So, I have been in a saddle since like 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning. Already had two stops. One for Philip. One for uh, dealing with a battery on my iPhone. Yeah, I got an iPhone. iPhone 12. That's a good upgrade. Let's let him through because I don't know the road like, uh, like I have never been here this won't be any like pushing hard on the Triumph like I have no clue where the road is going I just have the navigation in front of me so I have a clue at least a little bit so I bought this uh, holder for my phone because as I said at the beginning on the gas station I'm going to visit oh visit we are going to meet with my buddy Vladis he already went to the trip so he told me like a month or two months ago that he would like to go on a trip and he is going like for one week away so he took his Suzuki V-Strom planned the whole journey uh, planned it to the detail went to the Italy went to the Croatia I guess now he's in Austria and he was like come on Mikey let's meet up somewhere in the Alps I'm like no man it's that's pretty far away at the at first I didn't really want to go because it was really really far away and with a speed with a speed triple I'm still getting like to know each other you know and and trying to get feel for it but he was like yeah it's going to be awesome we'll meet there we'll just like Saturday we meet, we will meet in Austria and on Sunday we'll get back like hop on the highway meet me there and we'll get back um, through the like villages and, and nice country roads I was like well the weather should be good so I was like okay screw it I'm gonna go and here we are then 
So uh, we are at the beginning of this like really interesting road. Um, I've been on a track yesterday with my Suzuki GSXR track bike. So I've been riding pretty fast yesterday. I was elbow dragging guys. Got my left elbow and right elbow on the ground. I have a proof of pictures and everything, so <laughs> you can trust me. I'm gonna show you maybe some clip or, or, or a picture. So, should be pretty good. Enjoying it already. Like this Beach Ripple is so freaking good machine. Like I'm loving this bike, man. Like the torque horsepower we are not even on a sport mode and we could go actually to the sport mode guys let's switch to the sport mode really quick close the throttle hit the enter and we are in a sport mode all right Alrighty. We are in Austria, so we cannot really break a law here because usually it's really expensive. <laughs> this should be like the best part of today's journey. Like I spent like almost four hours on the on the highway. Like thank God for the cruise control. Like it was so good idea to put the cruise control on speed triple i'm like i'm loving that idea and i really enjoyed it like i haven't enjoyed it that much right because still on a naked bike the wind is pretty annoying the road is pretty okay not really sure how it continues but we should get to the juicy part in a while and it got already colder like it was 27 degrees uh, on the highway now we have 21 and I really feel it I can really feel it and guys don't expect any like knee down action at this point because I have never been here like the road looks really nice I don't see any potholes and I haven't seen any potholes like all day almost like the Austrian roads there's so much difference in comparison to ours it just uh, it's just a dream to ride on them 21 degrees speed triple comes stock with uh, metal race stick k3 tires I think they're pretty pretty much on the sporty side really good track tire as I was told and really good sporty tire for the roads like this so we have full package we have full package underneath us speed triple with a 180 horsepower track mode sorry not the track mode sport mode because on the track mode i don't think the track mode is a good idea <laughs> so sport mode sporty tires sporty setting talking about the setting i haven't really adjusted my rear suspension i put it on softer setting due to the highway i could have I could have added a little bit of rebound and preload, but I'm not going to stop for that now. Like I don't, I don't care now. It's really nice. Like I love the handling of the speed triple. It's aggressive, but not surprising. Like it will, it will get, it will get you on a real wheel. A little, bit, a little bit of the wheelie. Like the electronic is so good. Like it gives you a lot of confidence. And 
the quick shifter up and down guys that's just a dream nice smooth turns with a quick acceleration out Whee! and that was like 10% of the, th of the throttle man Ooh, this is nice look at the view oh my god that's pretty and Austria is so freaking beautiful cheers guys look at that I'm loving this finally get into those cherry on the top on this journey Ducati guys having fun here What was that? How can van break in the middle of the turn? Like, explain me that. Those black lines in the middle of the road, pretty slippery, I gotta say. This should be this should be the hard one all the way to first gear see ya Pretty bumpy from time to time. First gear. A little bit unsettled on the entry. A little bit leg angle, just for fun. nobody behind us oh look at the view oh I have to stop okay we are pretty steep down so rear brake engaged look at it I hope I'm recording oh yeah I'm recording look at the view oh jeez that's so pretty That's so pretty. I don't know if the GoPro is giving you justice, but that's so nice, man. So we're, we're so high then. Little sound check. Nice. Let's go. It's a first gear turn first gear great in the middle of the road oh wow this is sharp wow It was probably the sharpest turn I ever seen. Those black lines, jeez. Really slippery on those lines, man. Really slippery.
I don't have time to look. This is awesome if you know the road, if you don't like me, it's really dangerous. Nice and smooth. Hundred and twenty-five newton meters of torque coming your way. Yeah, the rear suspension is really soft now. I can feel that. A little bit swerving all, all over the way. Oh, black line in the middle. Really, really nice view. Getting a little bit more warm here. That's a good sign. A little bit of the chicane. Quick shift to up. Brakes. Let's go down. On the brake into the corner. Nice exit. Don't know what's behind the turn navigation is saying that the really hard turn oh wow I'm loving those covers in the middle of the road. That was a great idea. Like, really in the middle. Awesome. That's exactly what you want for the motorcycle to have covers in the middle of the road. really warm here we made it guys that was freaking awesome like if I if I have time I would go again but I don't have time Whew, that was awesome